Welcome back, adventurers, to Skyrim. Uh, we are here in uh, Riverwood, and last time I believe we were um, basically trying to go out and harvest some wood, test out our newly earned survival skills, and make sure that we practice them before we uh, um, really need them. You don't want to be uh, up north by winter hold and be practicing how to harvest firewood for the first time. That would be bad. So we're just getting a little practice in. And uh, I believe last time, let me see here, it's kind of dark in here to tell, but I believe we made ourselves some shoes. I don't know if we put them on. We did not. First shoes, let's put those on. Oh, this is our armor rating. That's our only piece of armor right now. Oh, and the helmet. Okay. So we can get rid of these foot wraps, finally. I'm not going to miss those at all. Make my feet hurt. Um, okay, so we got uh, our dagger, our hands, and our axe. Um, our axe is solid right now, which I think means that um, it's doing well. We don't have to repair it just yet. Uh, should it lower itself even more in durability, we'd have to repair it, I believe. And we also made a cloak, as you can see here. Keep us a little drier. Um, so let's see, we're currently uh, nice and dry since we're by this uh, forge. I was trying to wait for the storm to pass, but it's only, it's 2 p.m. Hmm. Got 11 gold. We should probably go try to um, chop up some more firewood here. I'm not going to leave town or anything, just here, um, in an attempt to be able to afford some dinner tonight, because I'm pretty sure we're out of food, aren't we? Yep, yeah, got to have dinner tonight. So we got to chop up some wood, do a little work, get our hands dirty. i got to say, I'm getting used to this, uh, this simple life. I, I wouldn't mind settling down here. I never even imagined that this is uh, something I would enjoy doing. Usually I would spend my days either sailing or going to parties and dances and balls and stuff like that. And This is so different from my life back in High Rock. Um, it's so rugged and gritty and... Uh, you know, I've got calluses on my hands already. I, I feel my muscles growing just swinging this axe. I wouldn't mind trying, a sw uh, trying to swing a sword again now that I've been practicing like this. My dagger feels much lighter now that I've been swinging this axe. I feel like... I think I could probably um, defend my way down to uh, Whiteburn if it's not too far. And according to the map that Alvor gave me, it's, um, it doesn't seem like it's too far from Riverwood. Just pretty much straight north. The road winds a little bit, um, but not far. Probably a day's walk. Hopefully, anyway. So what time is it? 2.15. That's good. We're probably getting a little wet out here, though. Let's uh, check. 32% wet. But it's a warm day for the most part. It's um, the air is pleasant, so that's good. It's hot up here. Uh, hello. Here for work. Yep. Got business here in Riverwood. Got eh? some firewood. Honest gold for honest work. Indeed, my friend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 125. Not bad. Oh, we sold some of the ones we harvested out in the wild as well. We're a small village, but we work hard. How are we doing anyway? Um, hungry and slightly thirsty. It looks like. I think we've earned ourselves a meal, uh, so let's go see what uh, what they've cooked up today at the end, see if they have anything. Hopefully Orgner made some things, I don't know if um, he replenishes his stock this quickly or not. It's still not clear to me, because it looked like he changed his inventory, but it hadn't been six days yet, and uh, I don't know. Orgner. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. What do you got for Take sale? Take a look. Uh... Cooked beef, yeah, that's new. So let's uh, let's take the cooked beef, I guess, or let's let's see. 
Apple's cheap. Take the apple for breakfast tomorrow. Um, some more milk would be nice. Take the cooked beef, I guess. It's not much of a choice. And cooked beef with grilled leeks. That sounds pretty good. Uh, heard any new rumors lately since I last asked you? Can't. There we go. Nobody trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. Hmm. Are you referring to the mages at the College of Winterhold? I was told about them by um, Lucan. Uh, what else can you tell me about magic? Looking to blow yourself up? <laughs> I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up too. Hmm. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Hmm. Interesting proposition, Orgnar. So, maybe I can learn a basic spell or two from a wizard and then head up to the uh, Winterhold College to learn more advanced topics. Because what I'm thinking is, even if I go to the Winterhold, co uh, Winterhold College, are they even going to let me in? I mean, I'm, I don't know a single spell, so... It doesn't seem like they accept me, so maybe training with the a Jarl's wizard would be good. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the Jarl of uh, Whiterun has a wizard? Yes? Good. Good, good. Ah, making some more uh, stew over there? That's good. Let's have a sit. Let's enjoy a fine meal with some nice music and good company. Uh, early dinner, we'll call it. Cooked beef. I could have a bit more. Well, we got the grilled leeks. We'll have some water as well. Thirst is quenched. That's good. Grilled leeks. I'm full. Perfect. Good food, eh? Oh. Let's go outside, see if that storm is uh, dying down a little bit. It's not really a storm, it's just kind of a light rain. Yes? Hello? So, Alvor, um. Let me ask you, uh, how much do you charge for... Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. For, um... The finest weapons The materials armor. needed to craft. Hmm, your ingots are a little pricey from my pocket. You only have silver ore. That's pretty pricey as well. So how would I go about getting my own, uh, materials, Alvor? I need a pickaxe? Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Keep a sharp eye in case we find a pickaxe somewhere. Doesn't seem to have one around here, so Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. Sure it is. I like it. Let's chop up a little bit more wood. I realize it's not the most exciting thing, but like they say, honest gold for honest work. And I'm getting some good honest gold down here. Uh, I think we're just about ready to maybe start thinking about journeying down to White Run. Or up to White Run, I should say. It's north. Um, I'm trying to think of any other things that I might need. I have a little dagger to protect myself. I have a. Um, a nice There's set of shoes. Here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. I have a cloak to protect me for the, from the elements. Um, and a helmet. No concussions for me. Well, it's only a light hide helmet, but I made it myself. I guess I feel a lot better if Alvor had made it, but whatever. I'm learning. Uh, and in case anyone's wondering, um, the way I'm uh, out of character for a minute, the way I'm playing this is uh, I'm going to be developing the skills I want this character to have as I go. So I started off with Speechcraft as one of my major skills because I thought, um, you know, since he's charismatic, it makes sense that he would have that. And now I'm picking up Smithing, if you can't, um, you know, tell. I'm liking uh, the fact that Alvor taught it to me, and I'm sort of turning that into uh, one of my 
main skills that I'm going to be using a lot. So, so right now I've only got those two skills that I'm completely decided on in character. So, we'll see what more we come across. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to find a pickaxe at some point and look around for materials. Let's do one more round of these, and uh, hopefully that'll get us enough gold for breakfast tomorrow. And if the weather permits it, we will head over to White Room. I don't know if I want to travel in bad weather. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Yeah. For a Nord village. I like it. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of a uh, home here. Get a job at the mill. Maybe work for Alvor on uh, in the afternoons or something. That'd be cool. Hey, Hod, got some more firewood. Here for work. Honest gold for honest work. I ah, good. A decent amount of gold. Under twenty. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Sky. Let's see how we're doing. Forty-five percent wet. Uh, a little peckish again. I get hungry easily. I hope the weather is good tomorrow. Let's go take a look outside the town walls here. Or not walls, but this gate. Town gate. See somebody's been doing some fishing. Hmm. So this is the bridge that I'm supposed to cross to get to Bleak Falls Barrow up the mountain or to White Run North. I'm definitely not going to head over to Bleak Falls Barrow soon because we need to prepare better for that. I don't even have a good piece of body armor. Um, and from what I hear, that place can be dangerous. And we know that bandits stole that uh, Lucan's Claw. So we're probably going to have to deal with some bandits and I'm not ready for that at all. I need to practice first. I've never even swam, I've never even swam my dagger at an enemy. Just that the air here. Swings pretty well now though. My arms are getting a bit stronger with all that woodworking. Um, so yeah, I think this town is a nice little home for now. But hopefully tomorrow we can head over to uh, White Run. Let me check my... if I can make anything else. Interesting. Oh, a longbow. Two firewood and four leather strips. I've never used a bow before. wonder if that would be good. Ah, a walking stick. Two firewood. That's pretty easy to craft. Stone hatchet. Some dense stone. Huh. Stone arrows. What else can we make? Fur... Oh, we're getting wet out here. Let's go by the forge and stay warm. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Don't mind if I warm up right around here, do you, uh, Alva? Ah, it's nice and warm. Let me see if um anything I can do here. Let's take a break. Oh, let's read. Oh yeah, we're gonna br brush up on our survival hey, skills. That makes need, sense. So we're reading up on our survival skills. Within let's reason, see. Um, fur armor would be nice. Keep us warm. Need some pelts though. We got a cloak. Let's see. Let's flip the page over here. Linen wrap from the belt of tunic. Well, I'm wearing that, so. Ah, torches! You need dead wood or firewood, either one. Interesting. Well, let's do it. Let's grab two torches. Wonderful. Oh, and we actually got our our mod kicked in right here. Um, where is it? Or hotkey torch. I'm gonna keep that, and we are gonna favorite that one and put in it. Hotkey there. That'll be good. Um, alrighty. So I don't think we need it right now, though. Uh, I don't want to waste it. So let's see. Let's see if we can. Can we open up our book again? Let's 
There we go. Let's take a look at some of these other items we might be able to craft from our survival guide. Uh, so we looked at these for helmet. Hmm. I need pelts for all this stuff though. I don't know if I'm up to killing a wolf yet. I'd like to say I am, but it's kind of kind of a scary thought. Enchanting supplies, interesting. Um, snowberry extract. Hmm. Tanning rack. Huh. That'd be pretty cool to make. All we need is firewood for a lot of these. I'm liking this walking stick. That might make the journey a little easier on me. Um, and it would give me a a weapon alternative other than just the dagger. I don't want to use my wood cutting axe as a weapon because I need that for firewood. I don't want to break it on some wolf, you know. But this one only requires a little bit of firewood and um, it seems pretty easy to craft, so why don't we go ahead and try that. Oops. There we go. Let's go get a little bit more firewood then. It's getting dark out here. Maybe I will put out that torch. There we go. A little bit more firewood and we can craft that walking stick. Tanning rack would be interesting, but we don't even have anything to tan. We don't have leathers or furs or anything. So I guess we'll hold off on that one. A walking stick would be nice. We can sell the excess wood. Make sure we have some uh, money for breakfast tomorrow. Okay. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves a walking stick. 26 damage. That's not bad. The dagger's 20, but it's quicker. Walking stick is 26, but it's probably a little slower. Let me see if I can, uh... It's not much heavier than the dagger. That's the good thing, so... Should be able to harness its power. Yeah, I can even pick it up with one hand. Look at that. Huh. It's got a nice swing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely helped me traverse the uh, the landscape. Hello, Hod. Got a little bit more wood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. Indeed, my friend. Thank you. All right. Then. Thanks for letting me work here. Um. Looks like it's getting late. 6 p.m. Huh? Mm, and it's a uh, Tirdas, 19th of last seed. Okay. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. At least it's not cold around here, even though it is raining. A little peckish, but that's all right. Um, let's see if Lucan has any treats for sale. I think I might be able to carry um, food I might be able to take on the, the road soup? with me. Show the trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Let's see. Some bread would be good. I think I have enough gold for that. Hmm. 105 gold, 6 servings, filling meal. Are the six servings the filling meal, or is each serving the filling meal? That's the question. I'm guessing each one is a filling meal, because this one says a light snack. So... Let's go ahead and get it. Hopefully it'll be a filling meal. <laughs> Hello! So... Let's see here. How much did I, I... I sold all my wood. I'm gonna try to, um... I'm gonna see if I can... Um, although it is raining, I was gonna say I'm gonna practice my fire making skills, but I guess I'll wait till tomorrow. See if uh, the weather's better. 
It's going to be hard building a fire for the first time if it's raining. It's not a good first time. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my face. So... I wonder if we can improve the walking stick at all. Grindstone was set to improve our weapons. It doesn't look like we can. But then again, that might be because we don't have a proficiency in it. No, that doesn't... Because usually, it would come up. Mm, I guess we can't. Whatever you need. That's alright, though. Hmm. Hello. It's getting dark out there. I'm excited to go to Whiterun, but I know I should wait till morning. I can't travel around this, this, uh, at this hour. Let's go inside, dry off a bit. I'm gonna take off my cloak while I'm in here, hang it up. Ah. I wonder if I could cook anything up. And I'm sure I don't have any ingredients, but let's take a look see. That's a shame. Well, whatever it is that you're cooking smells good. I seem to have cheese for dinner. Just not the most pleasant dinner by itself, but I wanna save my bread for tomorrow. Um, because I am getting a little hungry and a little thirsty. Let's have a seat over here. I hope they don't mind me staying another night. Doesn't look like they do. Then tomorrow, if the weather's good, I'll head over to White Run. So let's have a bite, see if that fills me up. Hmm, I don't think it did. I mean, it did, but I don't think it's, um... Now it says medium meal. Interesting. Let's have a sip of water, which we need to restock tomorrow morning. Good. What time is it? 7 p.m. Hmm. I say we get an early night s sleep so that we can be set and ready early in the morning. Maybe chop up a little bit more wood uh, just so that we can um, afford a couple of uh, bottles of water. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Of course. Um, wonder... It's nice to be back in a friendly spot. What time is it? 5.25 a.m. Gosh, it's dark. Um, good thing I have a torch now. Doesn't help much, but helps a little bit. Oof. It's really dark. Can't see. I really can't see. Um, I think it must be cloudy. Let's see. Looks like this is the inn. See if Orgnar has any breakfast for sale. Though we don't have any money, actually. Hello. We got rooms. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. We got for sale. Take a look. Looks like he does change his um, inventory a bit, but I'm not sure. What I would like is to buy a bottle so that I can refill it with water. Um. These are pricey. Hmm. Until next, I'm just the cook, lad. Like some water, please. All right then. And let's have a seat here. Let's see. That's not it. <laughs> uh, let's have uh, some water. My thirst has been quenched. And a slice of bread. I'm full. Great. We'll save the rest of the other bread and the apple for um, lunch on our journey. Well, I should probably put on my cloak. 
which I can't remember. It's linen, so it's 10% resistance to exposure, and you stay dry 75% longer in the rain, but dry off 25% slow. Okay. So it keeps you pretty dry in the rain, which is a good thing. But it doesn't seem like it's raining today, so that's good. Hopefully the weather will be good for our journey. Oof, can't see a thing. I can't even see the ground under my feet. My gosh. It's so dark out here. <laughs> We all just sit down for a bit. <laughs> what was that? Hmm. Like a weird red mist. Seems like a quiet enough day. What is that? A little creepy actually. Hmm. I can see a little bit better now. Yeah, I can see a little better. Um the sky's coming up here. The sun must be uh out soon. I'm thinking we already had breakfast. We can probably start making preparations for um for our journey and what I want to do is gather up a little bit of wood uh, out here and try to build a firewood. It's, it's really misty this morning. Look at this. It's kind of creepy. So let's gather up a little bit of firewood. So let's see, let's use our skills here to harvest some wood. Feeling a little peckish now. Got six pieces of wood. I think that's just enough for a campfire. Should burn well. Uh, Start one right here. This seems like a good spot. Um, let me see. Build campfire. Don't want it in the water either. Um, that seems like a good spot. I don't want it to be crooked. Where am I? Am I okay? I thought I was falling in the water or something. How about right there? That's a good spot. Let's do that. Alright, so there's our campfire. Can't see it, but that's there. Um, so add six firewood. Now I should be able to light it with my torch. There we go. Ah, good. I'm going to cook some fish while I'm at it, huh? Um, well, that's pretty... That's pretty good. It works. I can make my own campfire now, as long as I have a torch with me. Um, if I knew a fire spell, that might be more efficient. That way, if I run out of torches, I can still make a fire. But for the time being, I suppose, uh, that's not a bad option. Let's have a break. What's this? I'm reading a note of some sort. Probably just something I wrote to myself. Um, so, what time is it? It's 8 a.m. It's kind of dark today. A little cloudy, I guess. Um, I wanted to basically just test out the campfire. It seems to be working. I seem to be able to um, make myself a campfire without problem. So, what do you say we start heading towards? Um, White Run. 
And they said cross the bridge and head north. According to the map Alvor gave me, I should be able to just follow the road. And if I follow the road, I should be safe. So that's good. Just don't know if I'm going to come across any undesirables along the way. Hope not. Oh, bunny rabbit. It's got my walking stick, makes helps me walk. And keeps me alert for any incoming dangers. You can hear the waterfall here. Isn't that lovely? What a lovely, beautiful sight on this uh, foggy, foggy morning. following the road here. I saw something on the road. Whoa, somebody down there. Whoa, what's going on? Imperial soldiers? Good day. Oh, they killed a wolf. Hmm. Looks like they killed, uh, is it just one? Yeah, it looks like just one. Oh. <sighs> Well, Alvor said I needed pelts uh, to make leather, so I guess we're just going to have to suck it up and cut it up. Yuck. Never done this before, but let's give it a try. Ugh. Alright, looks like I can cut up a crude wolf pelt out of it. Um, hopefully it's... Uh, well cut enough that I can actually make something out of it. I don't want it to be completely useless. Good day! Imperial soldiers. Looks like they have a prisoner with them. Some sort. I think we're making good time out here. We're at uh, 8.57 a.m. see a house up ahead. Now, who was it that told me, um, it was Alvor's wife. I'm trying to, sound of the rain can be heard. Uh-oh, looks like it's going to start raining. Yeah, it's cloudy enough to do so. Alvor's wife, I'm trying to remember her name. She told me to take a left at Hunting Brew Meadery. I think it's bright enough. I don't need my torch anymore. What's this? We got a sign over here. Oh. Start storming? Yep. Have my cloak on? I do. Oh, I should put my helmet. Forgot I didn't have it on. Uh, White Run, down this way. Uh, Solitude, also down this way. We've heard about Solitude. That's where we can apparently. That's where we were instructed to go by. Um, Hadvar to join the Imperial Legion, and that's apparently where the uh, Bard's College is as well. But it's probably a long way from here. Like looking at the map, it's all the way in the north, um, northwestern part of Skyrim, kind of near High Rock actually. Um, White Run is much closer, so we're gonna go to White Run first, and obviously we need to. Oh, Hunting Brew Meadery. Here we go. So it's a nice little sign. Uh, so, this must be a white run right up ahead. I take it. Um, it'll be a nice place to uh, maybe resupply. Maybe see if we can get a better job, even. Um, we need to look for a pickaxe. That's what we really need. And we also need um, to tell the Jarl about what happened with the dragon. Whoa! What's happening? Oh, gosh! What in the world? We're fighting a giant. Let's see if we can help. Ah! Oh, I missed it. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried my best. Ha! Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. <laughs> Glory only awaits those who triumph. And as companions, our glory must always be hard fought. Companions? 
An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Hmm. Would I be able to join such an order? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. Hmm. If you go to him, good luck. Thanks. Maybe I'll consider that. Yurvaskar, huh? Mead Hall and Whiterun. All signs point to Whiterun. Must be it, just over there. Just gonna follow the road. Looks like some farmhouses out here. Hmm. I could also try to do some work around the farms. Get some extra coin. Oh, my walking stick. Good day to you, sir. Ah, the stables. So this must be White Run, eh? How are we doing? A little chilly, but you're fine. Uh, peckish, slightly thirsty. Some guards up there. Keeping a lookout, that's good. Makes me feel safer. There's another one. No bandits around here. Alright. We made it. Hold. Huh? City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Official business? What does that mean? Look, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. That's fine by me. So, White Run, huh? It certainly is a bigger town than Riverwood. I guess it's the capital of the hold. Wow. This is a pretty big town. Hmm. Hello. This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. Clan Grey Main? You mean the Civil War? You don't you think it's stupid, huh? Yeah. Need something? Unlike the rest of my family, I've got work to do. <laughs> They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. I hope so. Helgen got destroyed. I was there. I can vouch for that. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Hmm? Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Who's she talking to? Hmm. Be a crazy lady. Let's see. So this is White Run. Nice enough. Hello. Ah, fellow lumber. At the general good store. Oh, you work for uh, Bellathor at the general good store. Okay. <laughs> so, because he's just cutting wood. Brigands, I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world's mm. gone mad. I say. I say you may be right, friend. Good day. Well met, traveler. How are you? Well met, traveler. What brings you to White Run? Uh, I seek my fortune. I'm here to help in any way I can, just passing through. I'm here to help. Most of the people of Riverwood, they were very kind to me. Truly? Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Huh. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path. Very cool. Any place I can find work? Ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. Your Vasker. Oh. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. <laughs> well, May your sword be sharp I don't know how bloody I want my battles to get sharper. just yet. Um, so what's around here? This looks like a marketplace. Oh, Bellathor's General Goods. This must be where that um, young man works. Arcadius Cauldron. Sounds like an alchemy shop. I've never tried my hand at alchemy, but I've always been drawn to it. Uh, perhaps we'll give it a try sometime. Ah, looks like a... Um, a hunter? The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. What have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Trinkets? I thought you were selling meat. You are selling meat. Meat is not a trinket. 
Good hunting. Ah, vegetables, fruits. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. Bard? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Hmm. Quite a few items, eh? Fortunately, I don't have any money. <laughs> Just window shopping, Remember, I guess. Fresh fruit and vegetables every day. So he's suggesting I check out your Vasker. Just like um, that woman warrior did. But we need to get to Dragon's Reach and warn the Jarl about this whole dragon business. You should talk to Adrian at the forge. That's a big dead tree. What's this creature? No lollygagging. No, I'm not. You were once man. I and as man, you said. Let me show you the power of Talos, hmm. Thorn Crown, born of the North, where my bread is long winter. Sounds like he's preaching about Talos. Um, let's go to Dragon's Reach. Looks like this is probably it. And see the Jarl. Hopefully we can get an audience with him because we want to warn them about Riverwood's... Um, vulnerability as soon as possible. Don't want anything to happen to those people that helped us. Wow. This place is big. <laughs> what would you have me do then? Nothing? Uh oh. My lord, please. Hello. This is no time for rash remove my helmet. I don't want to appear like a What's or the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. Oh, I'm just, um, I'm then? here about news. I got news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Good. I'm glad. This must be the Jarl Balgur, if I've heard about. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? The dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw I was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. Hmm. The dragon is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough! Not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Hmm. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Steel armor? There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. Oh, wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Rumors of dragons. I'd love to have a chance to talk to him. Maybe he could teach me how to use a couple basic spells, make my life a little easier. You've got kids, I see. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? I hope so. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Hmm. 
So what does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You Back see, home I was. when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. Hmm. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh, Bleak Falls Barrow, A dragon Barrow, huh? stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Hmm. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know the stone tablet's going to be in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Okay. Wow, you've got a lot of things to say, my friend. I will... This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. I agree. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. Oh, thank I'm you. sure he will prove most useful. I hope so. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Huh. And I've already got to go to Bleak Falls Barrow to help Lucan with something, so your battles, it doesn't seem like a bad idea, but I think this is a good spot to leave this. So next time we'll be um, talking some more to that wizard, see what we can, uh, what information we can get out of him in terms of uh, the arcane studies, and hopefully we can learn a thing or two, like we did from Alvor. Um, but thanks for joining me, and if you like this video, hit the like button, also check out my channel and subscribe, and leave me comments and feedback, I always love to hear from you guys, and as always, thanks for watching.